Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Today's process video is in my 100 Days of Bible Promises by Shana Noel. The reason why I was so inspired by this devotion is because for a couple of days I was just thinking about how so many things in the world and so many things in society changes and everyone wants to change everything and rename everything and redefine everything and it made me think of the consistency and the constancy of Christ and how he doesn't change and I remembered that this book the very next devotion which is day 22 had Christ doesn't change so I said yes I'm going to journal this because this is on my heart this is on my mind and I just want to be grateful and thankful that my Lord and Savior our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ does not change so whatever you're going through whatever circumstances you find yourself in the whirlwind of people coming in and out of your life job changes uh, relationship changes familial changes everything that changes around you remember that Jesus remains the same and you can trust him and you can rely on him and he will forever ever be with you as I progress with the video, you will see me use a lot of different little scraps and pieces. And these are just pieces that I have left over from Praise and Pray, maybe Illustrated Faith, uh, Print, Pray, and Slay. Whatever I had in my stash that went together, that's what I used to decorate this page. So this kind of book, and any book like this, is a great way to use some of your stash. You want to use some of them up because you just don't want them to pile up and pile up and you just hoard them. Uh, so uh, thank you for watching and I'm going to read the devotion. And remember, if I can Bible journal, so can you. Now for the devotion. Christ doesn't change. The one thing most everyone will agree on is that change is certain. Change of seasons, change of jobs, change in appearance as you grow older, change of heart as you experience both good and trying times. Some changes are for your benefit, while others test your faith. Amen. That is why it's so assuring to know one who has never changed and never will. Jesus, he is unwavering in his devotion, steadfast in his promises, and eternal in his love. He is the one and only rock that won't be moved or manipulated. I love that. He won't be moved or manipulated. Her shout all praises to him. This is my very first journaling Bible. My husband and son gave it to me when I started Bible journaling like about three years ago now. And I made a lot of mistakes in this, guys. But I love this Bible. It's so sentimental. It's my very first one. And I guess I can just kind of go back and see how I've grown and some mistakes that I've made. And I've really botched up some things in this Bible that I wish I hadn't. I had to learn some things before doing this and I should have. But... You know, it's a lesson learned and it's still sentimental to me and I still love it. So I'm going to try this technique right here and I'm going to explain it shortly. Journaling in Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 and it reads, Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And that's the New Living Translation. What I decided to do was to try my another attempt at using napkins. This is not my forte. This is something else that I'm still trying to learn. But you know what, guys? I'm just going to stick with it. That's why I always say, if I can Bible journal, so can you. Because some of these techniques and some of these things I just have not grasped yet. But I am willing to try them. And if I mess up, it, it's okay. It doesn't even stress me out anymore. And that I'm doing videos for you guys 
hopefully it'll encourage you that don't feel bad when things don't turn out right or they look wrong because I see some people do napkin techniques and they are flawless. Perhaps one day I'll get there, maybe I won't, but at least I'm giving it a try and at least I'm beautifying my Bible in different ways and the more that I do it, the better I'll get. So I decided to use a napkin that was sent to me. I think Joy sent me this napkin. And I, I cut it up in different pieces because I wanted the flowers to be in different places. And I used some Mod Podge. And I also used a journaling strip from Praise and Pray. And that's it. And I'm just going to use some bits and scraps that I have. And hopefully the page turns out okay. Of course I see it in the end. It doesn't look all of that great. But when I finally look at the final piece, I thought it turned out okay for um, a first try at doing it this way. Thank you for watching and take care. And I hope you are inspired to try napkin pieces in your Bible or even if you haven't perfected it yet, still try it until you can get it where you're pleased with how it looks. This is a print, pray, and slay printable that I printed to to a sheet. I wanted to get some gold on the page, so I'm using that. And if you want anything from print, pray, and slay, you've heard me say this before, just go to printpraysslay.com and put in Sherry15 and get 15% off.